Well, the game's tomorrow. We're looking forward to that. Been there a few days and done all the things that uh, that uh, the bowl has provided for us. We had uh, our day at the track, which was great. We had the uh, Brazilian Steakhouse last night. I think there's still some offensive linemen there eating. <laughs> uh, but uh, it was an outstanding uh, bowl as far as events and things for our players to do. And now it's, it's time to get ready to play this game. So that's what we're looking forward to doing. Coach, you have a. Uh, how well do you know Bobby Petrino, uh, both you know personally and, and then certainly as a, as a right. strategist and coach? Well, great coach. Uh, I don't know him that well on a personal level. We were, we were, we were obviously on the SEC together. You get to know the coaches a little bit at the events that we go to. Uh, so I don't. I'd say we know each other as acquaintances, but don't really know each other that well. Mark, any challenge to maybe not knowing if you're going to put a quarterback or defensive game plan on you? Well, we've got film of everybody. But, um, as far as knowing exactly who's going to play and how they're going to use those guys, it's, it's hard to say. But, uh, you know, they'll, they'll tailor up some things, I'm sure, to the strengths of the quarterback. Obviously, everybody wants to do that. But I think, I think their plan will stay intact for the most part. kind of threat is like Devontae Parker, big receiver like him? Well, uh, Devontae, just his numbers are amazing. Uh, guy playing his last five games uh, after a broken foot early, early in camp. Um, averaging seven catches a game, averaging about 135 yards a game. Uh, I don't even know how many touchdowns, but uh, just a big physical presence. A guy that's a mismatch for really probably any, any defensive back in the country. He's a uh, very talented guy, and then when you have uh, you know, Coach Petrino's ability to get the ball to the guys that need to get the ball, um, he's going to be very difficult to deal with. Let's talk about Louisville's defense. What have you seen from their defense on field? Well, uh, great run stop in defense. One of the best in the country. I think they're number three in the country. I think they're number six in the country in total defense. So uh, they have been very impressive in that regard. And uh, you know, it's going to be a situation where we, you know, we've run the ball pretty good. So I'm sure that's going to be a big matchup as far as how well can we run the ball uh, against a team that stops the run so well. And uh, I think both teams offensively are going to want to stay out of third and medium, third and long situations, third and long. It can be very difficult down for anybody to get have success offensively. So uh, you know, we're trying to get reduce uh, reduce the uh, yardage as we go, and hopefully pop a couple big runs and, and uh, get them on the heels a little bit. Does it help seeing the portions of the defense that were at Georgia, the schemes and things like that? Who's doing it? Does it help to see that and kind of understand what he might be doing? Well, there's a lot of similarities now uh, to what he was doing here at Georgia. He didn't, he didn't, I don't think he reinvented the defense. I mean, uh, he's running the defense that he knows well and the defense that uh, has had success in most of the that matter. So, uh, you know, I think there's some familiarity there for us, but it, it goes both ways. I mean, he's got a pretty good idea of how we do things offensively as well. Been off a month. How's the preparation been for, for this game? The prep's been good. Uh, we had a very nice uh, uh, high school program. We got to use their facility, Country Day. Country Day. Uh, it's uh, they had a lot of field space. We got dark a little early one day. We had lights. You know, sometimes you're at, a, you're at a bowl and you don't have lights. You know, I mean, there's things that happen in the bowl games. But with, with the amount of rain that the fields took, they were very playable and very safe, and uh, we appreciate the hospitality. I know you get attached to these players. Is it hard for you to watch the seniors, this being their last game, in preparation for that last game? Well, I mean, you're, you're proud of the seniors. Uh, you know it's time for them to move on. It's just like when you raise children. Uh, you hate to see them go, but you know that that's part of your job as a parent to raise your kids to where they can stand on their own two feet and make it in this world. Same thing is true when you're coaching these players. Uh, you want to 
want to uh, you know, help them prepare themselves for the rest of their lives. And you want to give them a great experience while they're here, but you also want to make sure that when they leave, they'll be able to handle things. And, uh, and these guys will do that. They're really proud of them. What do you think would be different from uh, Coach Lilly calling the plays rather than Coach Bobo? I'm sure it's the same system. But. Yeah, it's the same system. Uh, there'll be a lot of similarities. Uh, I don't think anybody watching the game is going to sit there and be able to say, oh, that's a drastic change of style or change of plays or anything like that. We're in our system. And uh, you know, even uh, during our bowl preparation, Coach Bubble was there uh, while we were practicing in Georgia and while the game plan was being put in. So great, the great majority of the plan was already in by the time we got here. Are you going to have a larger role in just selecting particular plays at all? I'll be I'll be there close by. <laughs> How tough was it to let go or whatever it was you call it when Mike started calling the plays? It seemed like y'all sort of scripted that out back in the day. Was that tough for you to sort of say, hey, I need to back away from this? Well, I, I think uh, the development of, of Mike Bobo made it easier. Uh, you know, when you're used to planning games and calling games, uh, you know, that's an exciting part of the game. It's, it's, uh, very competitive part of the game. And it is fun. You know, it's challenging, but, but there's a lot of uh, enjoyment to it as well. And, uh, you know, when we made the switch, I made it for two reasons. One was uh, I felt like, uh, you know, it was time. And uh, I also had a lot of faith in Mike in the field. Because uh, you've called the place for a long time. You've had to call the place for years. 